Let's play with shapes a little bit here in um, Premiere Elements and let's start. We got this, unfortunately, we got the same face as we've had in other tutorials. Um, but let's put some shapes here and here's the shape button. It's this um, simple tool here. Right now I have custom shape tool selected but there's all kinds of um, tool. There's different shapes you can use. I'm going to use the custom shape tool and what that means is you can use one of the shapes built in to Photoshop Photoshop Elements and what you can do is you can click on this um, shape tool and what's interesting is um, I, this isn't really the default because I've been playing with it but by default it usually just shows a few of these different shapes but if you click on this arrow you can get um, a bunch of other you can get it to display in different ways and you can get it to show different shapes I'm gonna just put on all element shapes and I'm gonna have it show um, a small thumbnail this is a little simpler and I'm gonna start with this kind of um, talking bubble and so we'll use let's just use this one so you select it and you close this and then you draw the shape and since I have the shape tool there I can draw this bubble. Now one of the things I could have done before, in fact let's do it again just to show you, is before you draw it you can set different options. Once you draw it you can't change those options. And I'm gonna, so we've already got this shape selected but then I can select the color and so let's go with um, blue, we'll just leave it at blue and then you can make a style and you can Chick, you can say remove styles um, but right now I have this um, drop shadow selected uh, low and so we'll just click away from that and now I'm going to draw my shape over here so we got this blue shape it looks a little gnarly around the edges but that's not really the way it's going to look at the end uh, because that's just to show you it's selected if I click over here on another layer you can see it looks nice and smooth Okay, so this guy's saying something, and what he's saying is, um, we'll say happiness. Okay, so now I clicked on the text tool, and as soon as I click click here, the text uh, is also set to blue. Now I don't want that because I want to put it on top of that image, and so I click down here, and um, I actually start to do the text in the wrong place, so let's go back and now I'm gonna click um, on top of this layer on top of the bubble and say happiness and then I'm gonna take this text and clicked on the little arrow so now it's in that bubble the, t the text I actually can change after the fact so now I select it I can change the color uh, for example to yellow let's say and uh, say OK and so now it's yellow. I can change the type, um, I can change the size, all kinds of stuff but you can look at the options when you get to it. So that's what this guy is saying and now uh, we want him to be thinking and so we go back to the custom shapes and I'm gonna go down here to this thinking little bubble. Let's see. Select it and then I can just draw. It's actually set to blue. Let's, I mean yellow. Let's make it blue too. And it's got the same drop shadow. So now I draw it. Now, the only thing about this is that it's going out of the wrong side of his head. And here's a way to you to change this with a transform command we cut co we covered earlier. Is so you make sure the shape is selected, and then you go to image and you go to transform and I'm just going to go to perspective and I can kind of flip it so I just flip the top flip the bottom and um, now it's backwards from where it was now I might also want to let's say I accept that and but now once I click on it and get the arrow selection tool I can resize it and put it over here so he's saying happiness and he's thinking about something and I just happen to have um, 
a picture of this beautiful woman, which happens to be his wife. And we find it down here in the project bin. And I'm going to drag that up here into the bubble. Now we don't see it because it looks like, see, it's way it's behind in terms of the layers. So I'll move it all the way up on the top. And now I'm going to move it over here on top of this bubble. So there you go. You've got him thinking about this beautiful woman saying happiness. And if you really wanted to add, since um, it is Valentine's Day somewhere uh, at some time. And so I'm going to click on this and um, go to the heart, which is actually the default um, custom shape. And let's see if I can find one. That's that's a there's one there, but it's a mask. And so here's a heart. And so we'll click on that and click away. And of course, hearts need to be red. And then I can draw some little hearts. And maybe another little heart and another little heart. So you have this very romantic drawing with hearts and happiness and pictures and everything. And so that's how you use the text tool and how you use the shape tools with um, Photoshop elements.